So I'm working on a costume called Poor Batman, essentially a version of Batman where Bruce Wayne is actually really poor and has to use salvaged and scrap materials. So far I've made batarangs from aluminium cans and a cowl from old shoes and today I'm making gauntlets from a bunch of stuff. Let's get started. First thing I did was get some old PVC and before I cut it to shape I wanted to make sure that it was strong enough to become my gauntlets. Turns out it was, so I used a hacksaw to get it to the right length and a coping saw just to give it a little bit of extra shape around the wrist and the fists. I had a long strip of galvanized metal and I used a hacksaw to roughly cut out the spikes for the side of the gauntlets. When they were done I used a scalpel and some needle files to cut out these slots for them to fit inside of the PVC. Before I put the spikes in those slots I gave them these little tabs so that when they fit into the PVC they were kind of anchored down. Then it was time for the gloves. I just used some old work gloves and they were orange so I spray painted them black. You're probably thinking that it would have been better to use some kind of specialized fabric dye. Yeah, it probably would have been better. But I am making this costume based on the idea that Batman's super poor. In this universe, Alfred is like a mechanic that kind of lets Bruce come and use some of the tools in the shop when he can sneak him in. So a lot of the tools I use in this build won't necessarily be the best tool. They'll just be the tool that I think a poor version of Bruce Wayne could most likely get his hands on. It was then time for painting. I gave the PVC a really rough coat of primer just so the black would stick better because of course I did give it a coat of black. I gave the spikes a layer of the chrome spray paint and then just sanded them up real good to make them look a little bit less polished. You may have noticed some duct tape wrapped around the gauntlets. That wasn't because I broke them, that was a little nod to Captain Boomerang. I really liked the Captain Boomerang costume in Suicide Squad. I was almost going to make my own version of it, but I didn't. One of my favourite things about the costume was just the random bits of duct tape everywhere, where he just haphazardly just been like stuck it on when he got a hole in his jacket or something. So I stole that idea for this costume because they can't, it works, it makes sense. Now I got some old soccer shin pads that match roughly the right length that my gauntlets were. I cut all the Velcro straps off them and I was going to try and sand down the Nike logo and then kind of fill it in with this gap filler stuff. But then I thought, would poor Batman have the money to buy that and then the time to wait for it to cure? But, but no, duct tape it is. Then when all the paint was dry and everything, I used contact cement to attach the shin pads to the PVC and then they were done. Here they are. So those are the gauntlets for my poor Batman cosplay costume thing. Be sure to jump in the comments and let me know which part of the costume you think I should make next. If you want to support me to make sure that my videos get out quicker, not like this one, it took a long time, then you can go to my Patreon, link down there. There's lots of rewards, like you get paintings and behind the scenes videos and pictures and stuff sent to your house. Or if you're a super poor teenager, which I know most of you are, then you can just follow me on Twitter and all of that and see some behind the scenes stuff there. Also, before I go, if you're a fan of my series where I take uh, my cosplay costumes to a parkour gym to test how good fictional costumes work in real life uh, jumping situations, then uh, here's a little clue about what my next one will be about. 